Hello, my name is Jade and today I'm going to be doing a horror book haul. I have my hot chocolate. I haven't had hot chocolate at all this fall, I think. In my skull mug. Very fitting for this video. So, I am very sad that the spooky season is over. Now it's all about Christmas and I prefer the spooky season. But, I will be continuing reading spooky books into, well, November and December. And in October, I read quite a few horror books and it got me very excited about the horror genre. And I started to kind of collect books to read November, December, and into January. And I, I've waited until I accumulated enough so I could make a haul video. Here is my stack. I didn't realize how many it was until I piled them all up. It didn't seem like that many when I had them on my bookshelf. But I have been collecting these for a little while. So let's get into these. I'm super excited because I kind of... kind of forgot about <laughs> I don't remember exactly everything that I ordered so I'm excited to get into these I didn't want to open them because I wanted to open them like on camera so let's do that oh and like a few of these are not horror but the majority of them are all right let's open our first package. Now, I know that was a very large stack of books, but the majority of them I did buy used, which makes me feel very good. I love buying books used. You can't always buy books used because there'll be new releases or sometimes buying books used just isn't worth it. Like they're just as, they're the same price when they're new. I bought both of these used from eBay. Well, let's start with this one. I got The Island by Natasha Preston. I keep seeing her books in like Walmart and in other stores and people talking about them. So I decided to pick one up. And the one I was going to get was The Haunting because the cover was really cool. But I have quite a few haunted house kind of books. So I wanted to get something different. I think with this haul, I was trying to get horror books that were not all like the same storyline, if that makes sense. Like not just all haunted houses, because I think that's what I read the most of so far. This cover is really cool, and I haven't read anything by this author, but I know people like her books. And I did get this used on eBay. I think I got this for like $4. Oh, it's a pretty short book. They're only 300 pages and the font is pretty large. So this will probably be a pretty easy read. Now, let's see what this book is about. I This was recommended, I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but by multiple YouTubers, I've seen people read, recommend this book. So this book is about a group of influencers who get invited to this exclusive weekend park this it's like before it opens they get invited to the park and they get the vip treatment apparently like the hotel rooms are great and the rides everything seems awesome but sounds like they're not gonna be able to get off this island alive that's what it says on here so i thought that would be a fun read being trapped on an island with a cool, like, in a cool amusement park and they can't get off alive. I think this is also like an introduction to this author because I, I've seen, you know, 
uh, other books of hers at the store, but I just wasn't sure if I would like her books. So I wanted to try one, and this one seems different to other books that I've read, so I'm excited about this one. If I can remember the YouTuber's name who recommended these books, I'll put it on the screen or link her down below. I really like her videos. But I got myself Five Nights at Freddy's, Silver Eyes. I, I haven't seen, I have not played the game. I actually started the movie today and I haven't finished it, but I know that it's a super popular game and like my students are always drawing these characters, so I've always been kind of intrigued, but don't really have interest in, I'm not really interested in playing the game, but I know that there are books. So I wanted to try this one. Apparently this one's really good. So this says, 10 years after the horrific murders at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, Fazbear's Pizza that ripped their town apart, Charlie, whose father owned the restaurant and their childhood friends reunite on the anniversary of the tragedy and find themselves at the old pizza place, which has been locked up and abandoned for years. After they discover a way inside, they realize that things are not as they used to be. The four adult-sized animatronic mascots that once entertained pa patrons have changed. They now have a dark secret and a murderous agenda. So I'm excited to read this. It seems like a fun read and kind of like, I don't know, haunted pizza, <laughs> pizza restaurant by these robots. So I wanted to kind of like learn about Friday Night at Freddy's. <laughs> like I feel like it's just very popular and now the movie is on Peacock, I think. So I wanna read this book, I'm excited. And I also really like the cover. And I again, I got this used and this was four or five dollars. So excited about this one too. I'm excited about all these books. All right, next one. This is a hardcover. Make sure we don't have hot chocolate on my mouth. Oh, yes. Okay, I don't remember buying this in hardcover. This book looks so creepy. <laughs> Just like Mother, look at how creepy this book is. This was recommended by Sid Bookworm. Everything she recommends, I want to read. After I finished watching the video where she recommended this, I immediately bought it. And I got this from eBay and it's in very good condition. It's used and it has the dust cover and everything. So <laughs> let's learn what this book is about. Okay, in this book we're following Maeve, who was a part of a cult that she escaped, her and her friend Andrea. And it's years later, and her life is kind of sparse, she's not making tons of money, but her friend Andrea is pretty wealthy it seems. And she goes to kind of stay with her for a while at the Catskills, and I think this is supposed to kind of jump back and forth between like present day and then her life when she was in the cult. Her friend Andrea is struggling with the loss of her baby, I believe. And in her industry, like where she works, she has made artificial babies for mothers to kind of help them through grief of losing a child, which sounds very creepy. <laughs> And I think things go wrong with these fake babies. This sounds really creepy, but good. I think this has been compared to Rosemary's Baby, which I have not read, but I feel like I remember someone reviewing this saying that they are similar. And I know that's supposed to be a creepy story. So that's the next book. All right, we have another hardcover. I think I know what this is. Yes. Okay, so this is not horror. This is thriller. It's so beautiful. It's Riley Sager's Survive the Night. Now, I bought this from Thrift Books, but it did not come with a dust jacket. I was super annoyed. I think I only got it for like four or five dollars, but 
The dust jacket's so pretty. I, I had to have it with the jacket and I think, I think I also got this used. I'm pretty sure I got this used. But with the dust jacket, I even considered making my own dust jacket for the book and just decided it was not worth it. I've already read this book and liked it. I know that this is his least popular book, so I was really excited to read it knowing it was his least popular. I liked it. I understand why people would dislike it. I'll talk about it when I talk about my, I think October, October reads, yeah. But I just, I had to have the hardcover with the dust jacket because I have my Riley Sager collection and they have to match. And this this cover's too, it's too pretty. And it has like the car. So I liked it and I'll talk more about it, but that was the next book that I got. <gasps> okay, this is another book that I've already read. I also bought this one used from eBay, and that is Gallows Hill. This is the third Darcy Coates book that I've read. Darcy Coates was the inspiration to buy all of these horror books because I really like this author, and I have more in this stack um, that I'm going to talk about, but. I love the co I love the cover of all of her books. For the most part, okay, there's actually one in this haul that is not my favorite. <laughs> but this book I've already read. It is this is a gross one. Out of the Darcy Coates books that I've read, this has been the grossest. Oh, when she's like in the attic. Ugh. <laughs> but it was a good book. Read it digitally. So this book is about the whole family. They own Gallows Hill. It's a winery, distillery, I think that's what we call it. A winery place. It's been in the family for generations, but both Mr. and Mrs. Hill died and their daughter, who does not live at, at Gallows Hill, inherited the winery and she doesn't have like a lot of money and she decides to, to go there to see if she can like run it and to also go to her parents' funeral. That she, she hasn't seen her family in like a really long time. So Gallows Hill, the people that live there feel that it's cursed, that like the ground is cursed because Gallows Hill was a place that they would hang um, all like the convicts. And a lot of those convicts were like, innocent or what they were hanged for was like not it was like something really small and that was like a long time ago but since then like things have just kind of happened at gallows hill that have been weird like the family the family that owns it has been very successful but there have been a lot of deaths in the family so people don't like to go here and when they find out that she's going to take um over Gallows Hill, you can kind of see like people think that it's people are kind of wary for her or kind of concerned for her. So that's all I'll say about the book, but I did like it. My hot chocolate's gonna get cold. Yeah. All right, let's see what's next. It's so exciting to open these books because I don't know which books are inside. Okay, we have another Darcy Coates book. I'm really excited to read this one because this is supposed to be one of her scariest. Like out of her books, this one's supposed to be pretty scary. So Ooh, this, is, this is a thick book. It's called Hunted. I don't know what this one's about at all. I just love the cover. Um, I know I love this author and after I bought it, I heard that this one and uh, one of her like series, 
I don't remember what the series is called, but like this is her scariest one or one of them. Okay, so in this book, Eileen Huntsberger, she went missing when she was on a hike and her camera was discovered washed up down river containing bizarre photos that were taken after her disappearance. Uh, but there was no body or additional clues found. Um, and finding her seems impossible. Her brother, Chris, wants to believe his sister is still alive when the police search is abandoned. He and four of his friends vow to scour the mountain range until they find Aline and bring her home. But as the small group strays further from the trails and the unsettling discoveries mount, they begin to realize they're not alone and Aline's disappearance was no accident. I'm super confident that I'm gonna like this one, so this is the next one. I can't wait. All right, let's see what's next. That one I also bought used from eBay. Ah, yes. This is another Darcy Coates book. There are gonna be, there's already been two. This is the third one, and this is From Below. This is an underwater horror. This one's a little beat up. The like plastic seal, I guess, that's on the cover is kind of peeling up, but it's okay. This one was also used. So this is about a, um, a voyage that went missing and you know, nothing, nothing was found. The, the wreckage was just like disappeared. It's been six years since then and it was found and a group of people are gonna go and figure out what happened. So we're following Cove and her diving team. They've been given permission to um, examine the wreck, film everything, and if possible uncover how and why the supposedly unsinkable ship vanished. But something dark and hungry watches from below. With limited oxygen and the ship slowly closing in around them, Cove and her team will have to fight their way free of the unspeakable horror, now desperate to claim them. Darcy Coates is really good at atmosphere, so I really hope this one like makes us feel like we're trapped under the water with limited oxygen. That would be really cool. But yeah, that's... I got two underwater kind of pores, so this is one of them. All right, next one. Yes, I want to open. Okay, this is the one I wanted to open first, <laughs> but I just wanted to kind of open them, you know, just how they were stacked, kind of keep, keep it raw. <gasps> the Carol Haunt. This is the first Darcy Coates book that I read. I saw it on um, on Amazon. the The cover looked really cool, and I had never heard of. Well, no, I heard of the Ashburn House by Darcy Coates, and I saw this, and I was like, that name looks familiar. And then I was like, oh, this is the same author of The Haunting of Ashburn House, which is a loved book. Like that one's really popular. So before I read that one, I decided to read this one. This I've already I've read it. It's good. It's very good. This is the one that made me think like, okay, I want to read Darcy Coates books. I have a feeling that Darcy Coates is going to be what Riley Sager is for me for thrillers. Like I think Darcy Coates is that for horror. And um, this is a super atmospheric book. Out of the ones that I've read, this one was the most atmospheric. It felt like we were there, like in the house. It was, it was really good. Now, I think out of the ones that I've read, this one is not my favorite. Um, like, I like her books for like different reasons, but I do like that this was my first Darcy Coates, but this is not the scariest one. This one is the most atmospheric, but this one's not really scary. But that is the next book. After I finished it, I, I have to have this in physical form and obviously I'm gonna have a Darcy Coates collection because I think I've already opened three three Darcy Coates 
Yes, so this is four and then I already have one, so that'll be five. <laughs> but that's the next book. Already read it and loved it. So in this book, we're following Remy. She's a tour guide for a haunted house, the, the Carol house. And she gives a tour and this man stays behind after the tour and offers her a job. He wants to stay in the house for two weeks, I think. And he wants to kind of see what happens in this house because this the house is haunted and people have seen things in this house. She, um, Remy herself has seen a few things, but he wants to live in the house and uncover what's going on here. And he wants to hire, he's gonna hire other people as well to go into the house like with expertise in haunted houses and he's gonna pay her to be their guide because she loves the house and she loves the history behind the house so we're following a group of people that are all there that this guy hired and they're hoping to kind of uncover they like there's the story like there's a reason why the house is haunted but they want to some of them just really want to see things happen in the house one person she wants to kind of help she wants to put the ghost like at peace she's very very curious she like can't help herself she she really wants to to actually see some of the stuff that she's talked about because she's given tours for years but she hasn't seen as much of like what happens in the house as like other people have seen. My battery's gonna die. <laughs> so this book was good, super atmospheric, and this is what got me into Darcy Coates. After reading this one, I was really excited to read The Haunting of Ashburn House, and that's why I have like five of her books in this haul. So really good book. I recommend. All right, let's open the next one. Oh, and I did get that one used as well. I got it from eBay. Oh, okay. This one I'm really intrigued by. This is The Hollow Places by T. T. Kingfisher. And this will be my first... Is it focusing? This will be my first T. Kingfisher. I know that this author is loved. I started this um, on my Kindle and then decided that I wanted to read it physically. So I bought it used again. I think I got this from eBay for like five bucks. This is supposed to be a combination of horror and fantasy, I believe. We're following Kara, Kara. Uh, she's divorced. She kind of, she needs a place to stay and her uncle owns a museum of natural wonders. It's like taxidermy and just kind of weird things that, and she's always loved that place, but he needs someone to like run it for him. So she goes and lives there to run his museum. And I think just within the museum, she discovers um, there are portals to alternate realities and there are dangerous things, I guess, in those portals. Ooh, it says, um, for they have stumbled upon a place of unyielding madness and terror, haunted by creatures that gather strength from one's innate fear of them. So I think this is gonna be kind of fantasy, nightmarish kind of thing. This was also recommended by a YouTuber, again, I don't remember her name, but it sounds cool, like fantasy and horror and like the different portals, and I know Tink, T. King Fisher is a very popular author, so the cover is also really cool for this one. And when I started this on my Kindle, I was already, I was getting into it really fast, so I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this one. I really have no idea what this one is. It's a hardcover. Oh no, it's not a hardcover. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh. This is a thick book. <laughs> um, this is Into the Drowning Deep by M Myra Grant. Look at this book. This is like 500 pages. Okay, more like 450. 
Myra Grant wrote Feed, the zombie book that I read in September. And I, I was looking for underwater horrors because that seemed really creepy and cool. And I saw that it was M Myra Grant. I did enjoy her writing in Feed, so I have high hopes for this. This was also recommended. So I'm excited to read this one, but I, I believe this has like mermaids in it. I don't think this is so much like a haunted wreckage. I think this is like a voyage and mermaids. Okay, kind of similar idea. Um, a voyage has gone missing and it brought to life sea creatures of legend and it was lost. Um, everyone died. Um, and some people think, thinks, <laughs> some people think it's just like legend that they died at the hand of monsters. Some called it a tragedy. A new crew has been assembled and they're going to, they're going to seek the truth of what happened to that first voyage. Okay, so we're following Victoria. I guess her sister was on the first voyage. So she's going to go find out what happened to her. And I just, I know that there are mermaids in this. So I think this is more monster based than like, I think the Darcy Coates one is like haunted. This one is like scary mermaids. This, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a longer read though, cause this is 450 pages, but the margins, I mean, look how small the margins are. And the text is small too. But this one is supposed to be good as well. I mean, I, all of these are, obviously, I wouldn't buy them if people said they were bad. But it seems really interesting, like mermaids, but like scary mermaids. So that is the next book. I'm excited to read this one. Now this one, I do not see me reading this year. I think this is probably gonna go into January. We'll see. Okay, I think all the packages are opened. I have four books left. I have two more Darcy Coates books. So this one I bought <laughs> for winter time. Whether I read this in December, I think my plan is to read this one in December or January. Like I was trying to buy books that would be appropriate for the season. So this one and another one that I bought, I'm trying to buy ones that take place in winter. Okay, so we're following Krista. She joined a group of people heading into the deep Rocky Mountains. Um, she's hoping that this will be a chance to put her ghost of her past to rest, but there's a snowstorm and they have to take shelter in an abandoned, ha abandoned haunted cabin. It says, despite the uncomfortably claustrophobic quarters and rapidly dropping temperature, Krista believes they'll be safe as they wait out the storm. She couldn't be more wrong. Deep in the night, their tour guide goes missing, only to be discovered the following morning, his severed head impaled on a tree outside the cabin. Terrified and completely isolated by the storm, Krista finds herself trapped with eight total strangers. One of them kills for sport and they're far from finished. As the storm grows more dangerous and the numbers of survivors dwindles one by one, Krista must decide who she can trust before her frozen mountain becomes her tomb. So that sounds good. Sounds very like, like the mist, you know, like all, like trapped in a place you can't escape. People are dying. And I like that it says that it's uncomfortably claustrophobic. That sounds interesting too. Kind of like, you know, the one underwater that must feel pretty claustrophobic. And it takes place during winter time. So I'm excited about this one. This is it's like 330 pages. But this one I really do want to get to in December. So that's the next book. Okay, this is the last Darcy Coates. <laughs> I had to get it. It's a new release. This came out November. This came out in like November 7th or something like that. It's, it's a new release and it's called Where He Can't Find You. Now, I think out of <laughs> the Darcy Coates books, this one is my least favorite cover. <laughs> I don't, I don't like the one hand, but this is supposed to be, it's, it's a horror. Obviously all these are, all Darcy Coates are horrors. So this says, 
Abby Ward lives in a town haunted by disappearances. People vanish and they're found. Their bodies have been dismembered and sewn back together in unnatural ways. But this is the work of a human killer or something far darker. She and her younger sister live by a strict set of rules designed to keep them safe, which is why it's such a shock when hope is taken. Desperate to get her back, Abby tells the police everything she knows, but they claim their hands are tied. With every hour precious, Abby and her friends are caught in a desperate game of cat and mouse. They have to get hope back quickly before too much of her is cut away and before everything they care about is swallowed up by the darkness waiting in the tunnels beneath the home they thought they knew. So this is Serial Killer, which I have not read in, in like a Darcy Coates book. They've all been like haunted kinds of books. Excited about this one too. And that is the last Darcy Coates book I have in this haul. I guess I bought one, two, three, four, five. I think I bought five. <laughs> this book I also bought for the season and that is Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, yeah, now that I'm saying the name, the author's name does sound familiar, but I haven't read anything by this author. So our main character's name is Jade. She's released from prison right before Christmas when her conviction is overturned. Um, it says coming home is not easy and Jade may never admit it out loud, but she's happy to be back. However, the same day, convicted serial killer Dark Mill South seeks revenge for 38 Dakota men hanged in 1862 escapes from his prison transfer as a blizzard descends just outside of Prof... Prof Rock? I think that's the town. Uh, Dark Mills South reunion tour begins on December 12th, 2019, a Thursday. 36 hours and 20 bodies later, on Friday the 13th, it will be over. So it's like, she gets out of prison, and the serial killer also gets out of prison, and he starts killing a bunch of people. But I've heard good things about this one too. I really like the cover and it takes place in December. So I wanted to get this one for December. This will be on my December TBR. I like the cover. I really like red covers. I wanna now look up Stephen Graham Jones because that sounds really familiar. But yeah, that's the next book. I saw this at Walmart and picked it up. Okay, so that's it for horror and I know this is a horror haul but I have three fantasy books that I bought and the first one being Fear of the Flames. I saw this recommended like if you've read Fourth Wing then you should also read this book because this is a dragon book and some people think that this is better which does not seem possible <laughs> but um, I, I'm not sure what this is about and I don't think I'm going to go into too much depth with these next three books But I did pick up this one. I'm really curious to read it because people are comparing it to fourth wing But better and I think this came out before fourth wing, but I think this is supposed to be high fantasy Dragon riders, but I'm I'm not gonna talk too much about these three but this one very pretty cover and I'm really excited to read this after reading Fourth Wing and loving it. Um, the next two books I bought, I bought Powerless. I'm really excited to read this. Um, I've Everyone on TikTok and YouTube loved this book. I also really don't know what this one is about, but this is a new author and I've just been waiting to find this in stores. Um, because it just recently came out like in the US to buy in stores, something like that. The, you had to like order it online. But it says thief, ordinary survivor. I think this is supposed to be enemies to lovers. It's a fantasy. Yeah, I'll talk more about it at a later time, but um, I just, I know that this one was all over TikTok. So I'm really excited to read this. I was so excited when I saw it in store. So that's the next one and then the last fantasy book that I bought, if you saw my vlog, you know the ordeal with buying these two books. Um, I'm actually not sure which video is going to come out first. This one actually might come out first, but I got Iron Flame. I accidentally bought, well, I didn't accidentally buy, I bought two of these versions and I'm going to return one of them. But I did get the sprayed edges. I'm so excited to read this. It is the second book in the fourth wing, well, I think it's gonna be 
a three book series, not not a duology, a trilogy. So super excited to read this. <laughs> and that is all of the books that I bought in the past two-ish months, I think. I am not planning on buying any more books for a while anyway. I have a lot to get through. And I mean, I have already read some of these, but I feel like I have a good amount of horror books to last me a while. October just got me really excited about the horror genre. And I'm just, it, it's becoming one of my favorite genres, like horror, thriller, fantasy. I'm all about it. All right, I'm gonna hold up my stack, but I'm only gonna show the, uh, the horror books because that's what this video is about was all the horror Yee. look at all these beautiful books one two three four five six darcy ghost books <laughs> but i've already read i've already read two of them but yeah that's the stack so excited to have these out of the packaging so i can put them on my shelf and display them because they've just been in ugly packaging for ever and they look ugly on the shelf but that is the stack super excited oh, i didn't drop them yay thank you so much for hanging out with me while i hauled these beautiful horror books i cannot wait to get into these i hope you enjoyed watching um don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye